Qualcomm revealed the first Snapdragon 8 Gen for specs back in October at its Snapdragon Summit, confirming that the top mobile chipset would employ unique Orion CPU cores for the first time. Digital chat station, a Weibo leaker, has now provided purported Snapdragon 8 Gen for specifications. For starters, the leaker claims that the chipset is called Sun and is manufactured on a 3 nanometers TSMC technology. The most notable allegation is that the new chipset would include an octa-core CPU with two large Phoenix cores and six medium Phoenix cores. If verified, this would imply that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will be lacking in small cores entirely. Little CPU cores are often power-efficient cores designed to handle minor tasks, perhaps boosting battery life. It would be a significant shift if Qualcomm opted to remove them from its flagship chipset. In that regard, the business has been lowering the amount of small cores over the last few years. This trend began with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which reduced the number of cores from 4 to 3. Meanwhile, the brand new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, which will power next year's top Android phones, has gone from 3 to 2 small cores. What impact does this have on battery life and performance? Nonetheless, this might imply that the bulk of top Android phones in 2025 will be devoid of little cores. In this way, MediaTek has already surpassed Qualcomm. The recently unveiled MediaTek Dimensity 9300 processor eliminates small cores entirely in favor of four large and four medium cores. Dropping these little cores seems counterintuitive if they're supposed to be cooler and more efficient. However, MediaTek says that the Dimensity 9300 CPU saves 10 to 15% of power when doing typical operations and more demanding workloads. The company also claimed that it can save up to 33% on power while providing the same performance as the Dimensity 9200. Eliminating small cores in favor of more large and medium cores should result in significantly improved multi-core CPU performance. We'd previously seen the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and 8 Gen 3 make significant progress in this area by reducing the amount of little cores. Nonetheless, we're curious to see what the loss of the little CPU core implies for real-world devices. Hopefully, battery life, temps, and long-term performance will not suffer.